it's a subtle thing, but these little micro origamis that are designed expressly to open up when they're placed on water are so remarkably beautiful, I was mesmerized the entire time. I've always assumed that the beauty stereotypes that Disney has been banking on and is creating it of, uh, of the princesses was something that wouldn't in the slightest be attractive or appealing in real life. Well, this photographer decided to test that theory and he took these models and dressed them up and, and, and posed them as these Disney princesses. And I have to say they are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah action news. The only way to describe this one is as a hilarious snowmobile accident. Guy goes for a long ride up the hill and then for a long ride down the hill. If you don't know the history of the Salton Sea in California, this trailer for the documentary called The Accidental Sea might give you a, a bit of a clue. It's amazing. It's this, it's actually a trailer. This guy's making a film about the Salton Sea in California and it became this beautiful booming town. People flocked there, it was flourishing, and then one day, ghost town. Because all of it dried up and everyone left except for this one guy. He comes and he comes to the Salton Sea and then he finds this one guy in like a cave and he's making these beautiful um, uh, murals with, with chalk and paint and all these leftover um, things that people just abandon. It, it's beautiful. It's awesome. And it's bright and colorful and that's like the only color there because everything else is kind of sort of dead. But it's still really hard. It's gorgeous. In this day and age, there are very few places on the planet that we haven't seen photos and photos of. Well, one of those places that we haven't seen many of is Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. So that this photographer was able to get into the country and get these stunning photos and then get out and share them with us is uh, really pretty interesting and fascinating in itself. These are the five things I learned today. These are the five things I learned today. And I'm Ryan Nance.